And thanks for the prezi, Ben. Oh, you're welcome, Lucy. It's been so great to catch up after all this time. I can't believe it's been over 20 years. I know. I couldn't believe it when you popped up on Facebook. <laughs> what about you, Lee? You do the whole university thing? Nah, I never bothered. <laughs> you and your old friends ever think about catching up? Nah, I'd have to do A-levels and everything. <laughs> well, thank you uh, for inviting me into your lovely home. <laughs> And um, thank you for inviting your lovely biscuits into me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Bye, Ben. Oh, well, that's two hours of your life you're not getting back. Oh, what do you mean? He's a sweet guy. Well, yeah, he's really nice, but you two have got nothing in common anymore. When you two were mates, you were single, didn't have kids, you probably stayed up late listening to music. Now you're married, you're a full-time mum, you fall asleep halfway through Question of Sport. <laughs> I'm just going to nip upstairs for a relaxing bath with a toaster. I don't know why people feel the need to stay in touch. There was a time if you got bored with someone, you could deliberately lose contact. Not anymore. Do you know why? Marriage? <laughs> social media. What do you know about social media? You never use it. No, I do not. I don't want the authorities following my movements, thank you very much. I'm sure the authorities aren't massively interested in you, Lee. And I certainly don't want to be arranging to hook up with some kid from primary school. Well, that's good, because then the authorities would be interested in you. <laughs> if I wanted to see somebody from my childhood who disappeared for 35 years, I'd go round to my dad's house. Fine, but you're missing out. I saw a thing today where if you like the Greg's page, you get a free pasty. <laughs> Three, two, one. How do I sign up? <laughs> So how's your social media experience? It's all politically incorrect jokes and abusive comments about Delia Smith. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have friended your mum. <laughs> Actually, I have had uh, one mate who I haven't seen for years suggesting we meet up for a coffee. Oh, great! Are you going to get together? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you should do it. It's yeah. nice to catch up with people. Yeah, maybe. She does seem quite keen. It's a she, is it? Yeah, is that right? Yeah, of course. Why would that bother me? It wouldn't, I know. Because you met her with Ben, didn't you? Exactly. And it's not like you went out with her. Did you? No. <laughs> not really. What do you mean, not really? Well, we were just kids. How old? 19. <laughs> or as we used to say in the 80s, no, 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 19. <laughs> So when you said you were a kid, you mean you were an adult? I want me to talk with her if you don't want me to. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's just when you said it was a mate, I didn't realise you'd actually mate it. Yeah, but it wasn't serious. We, we just used to see each other a bit. How much? Top halves only. <laughs> so, um, you never slept with her? Why do you need to know? I don't. I'm really not that bothered. I think it's fair to say that when me and you got together, I wasn't a virgin. Really? What were you then? Just out of practice. <laughs> so how long were you two together? I don't know, a couple of months. If you're not comfortable with me seeing her. Oh, I'm comfortable. I'm just making conversation. Oh, buddy, have a look. That's her profile and pictures and stuff. I'm not interested in going through all that. <laughs> Single. Likes. Take that. Corfu. And cheese toasties. Well, that's why it never would have worked out between us. You know me. McFly, Costa del Sol and flapjacks. <laughs> Do you know what? I can't be bothered meeting her anyway. No? Really? Well, like I say, it doesn't matter to me either way. No, it doesn't. I know you know that. So do I. Me too. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad that's cleared the air. <laughs> Blimey, all I wanted was a free pasty. <laughs> oh, look. I'm sorry. Am I being silly? No, it's completely understandable. Is it? Yeah, of course. You're a neurotic, jealous psycho bitch, I know that. <laughs> no, I get it. If Ben had been your ex, then maybe I'd have felt a tiny bit uncomfortable. Would you still have accepted his biscuits? If I'd have caught you in bed together, I'd have accepted those biscuits. <laughs> I think you should meet up with her. I thought you didn't care either way. Well, now I do care. I care that it ever so slightly bothered me. If I'm being honest, I just thought she might still be attracted to you. I know, it's insane. Yeah. How could anyone fancy this now? It's had the joy and hope sucked out of it. 
<laughs> but the main thing is, she seems really nice. It'll be nice for you to catch up. All right. What about I invite her around here so she can meet you as well? Really? Yeah. I want her to see the life I've got now, which is with you. OK. Make it a threesome. <laughs> I'm not going that far. <laughs> Actually, if I ever did ask you no. for... No! No! <laughs> Biscuits for the guests, please. We haven't got many left. Are you nervous? A bit. You know she's a bit rough around the edges, don't you? Really? With your finesse and style, I was expecting Joanna Lumley. <laughs> she's proper old-school northern. She doesn't suffer fools. Well, at least I know who ended the relationship. <laughs> Ooh, doorbell. Sophisticated. I was expecting her just to kick the door in. <laughs> Friggin' hell, you've aged. Karen. <laughs> oh, we're not bloody friends. Thought we voted out of all that bollocks. <laughs> Come here. Hi. Who's this? This is my wife, Lucy. You never said you were married. Uh, I did. I told you in the message. Ah, I'm joking, you daft pillock. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. How did a big-nosed ferret-faced bugger like you land this one? Well, answer her. It's very nice to meet you, Karen. I've read a, heard a lot about you. Please. Bloody hell, Lee. Fordham and Mason biscuits? Do I eat these with a knife and fork or what? Oh, they're not mine, they're Lucy's. <laughs> you know me, I'm more of a wagon-wheel man. <laughs> so who ate all the cardamom and sea-salted Florentines? <laughs> So it's a donkey me tea. Oh, I've got your present. Something you can only get up north. Well, don't you be saying rickets. <laughs> Eccles cakes, proper ones. I always stock up whenever I go home. Hey, I have not had an Eccles cake for years. Pardon? I've not had an Eccles cake for years. I thought you said E. I've not had one of them for years either. <laughs> you never did, you liar. Two cans of lager down the ginnel, E was anybody's. <laughs> Can I get you a coffee or a tea? Oh, a tea would be lovely, thank you. What type do you like? We've got everything. Oh, she just wants a brew. <laughs> e a brew. <laughs> do you have a green tea matcha infusion? I think we have, actually. Yeah, I thought you bloody would have. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding, Lucy. I'll just have the one the monkey drinks. Thanks, love. He drinks Earl Grey. <laughs> I don't. So, uh, how's it going? Yeah, the really hard work's behind me. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> the thing is... Yeah? I'm just wondering about this deadline on Friday. <laughs> oh, don't worry about this. This is just surface. It'll all come together in the last couple of days. Right. It's just that this is the last couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> you see, what I need... Um, well, not need, obviously. Uh, it's more of a, of a request. Um, I say request. <laughs> it's a favour, if that's not too strong a word. I'm not quite sure what it is you're trying to ask me, but would it be easier over a cup of tea? Sure. <laughs> ah, there you go, you see. You'd like a cup of tea? I'd like a cup of tea. My wife would love to come over and have a cup of tea. Everyone wants a cup of tea, but there's one vital ingredient missing, isn't there? Yeah, you're right. Biscuits. <laughs> ah, don't worry. Found your secret stash. <laughs> What have you been doing? You've been gone ages. I've been using the gents for an all-over body wash. <laughs> Blimey. I get embarrassed when I plug in my laptop. Yeah, I'm not surprised with your Michael Bublé screensaver. <laughs> if you'd employed the fitters we used, you wouldn't be in this mess. Look, he's all right, my builder. He's just a bit old school. You know, rolled up copy of the sun, some very patriotic tattoos and a bum crack you could park a moped in. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're scared of him. Scared of him? Scared of Lucy. <laughs> and what did she say when you told her it wasn't going to be finished on time? Again. I didn't tell her. Why do you fear confrontation so much? You're as soft as... you. <laughs> Listen, I know how to deal with workmen in my house. I get a written estimate, I keep a close eye on the work, and if anything goes off schedule, I get Anna to talk to them. <laughs> what does she do? She lays down the law. 
No boots in the house, no tea breaks, no music, no chatting, no laughing, no using anything other than the outside port -a Yeah, but what are the rules for the workmen? <laughs> she gets results. Yeah, but I don't like all that them and us stuff, bossing someone round like I'm their boss. <laughs> I just can't do it. I know Dave probably sees me as some sort of middle-class ponce. Bloody hell, how rough is he? <laughs> he's looked round our kitchen and he's seen all the evidence. Spiralizer, Le Creuset set, strawberry huller. Blimey, if you'd have told me when I was 18 one day I'd own a gadget for taking the tops off strawberries... You'd have said, what's a strawberry? <laughs> but all that stuff, it's not really me. I'm from a working-class background. Are you? You never really mention it. <laughs> That's why I can't lord it over him. I'm trying to be something I'm not. I won't cut any ice. But I'll tell you what will. Your complete set of Selfridges ice chisels. <laughs> A matey chat. Like equals. Man to man. Bloke to bloke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you'll carry that off with your lemon-scented armpits. <laughs> you can come to us for a shower, you know. I don't think Anna would approve of me walking round your house naked. Good point. She's not particularly keen on you being there when you've got your clothes on. <laughs> Dave May, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, I'm making progress. Uh, yeah, I can see you're getting through things. Oh, yeah, the biscuits. No need to apologise. No, I wasn't. I was going to say we need some more. But it's funny you should say that, because I've just been for a coffee. I say coffee, I mean a couple of jars. What, you drank two jars of coffee? <laughs> and on the way back, I thought, I bet Dave's peckish. I'll get him an all-day fry-up in a bap on white bread, Yorkie for afters. <laughs> Nice one, mate. Diet starts tomorrow, eh? Yeah. <laughs> like a lot of things. <laughs> so it's good to keep your blood sugar levels up. I know what it's like when you're grafting. I used to be on the game. Uh, in the game. Oh, yeah, build away, yeah? Oh, yeah, worked with my hands for years. On the sites, down the docks, in the woods. <laughs> Done it all, mate. Pointing, grouting, flossing. <laughs> Some of the stuff I used to get up to... Oh, I used to... I did all the tricks, me, you know. Oh, <laughs> glues, not screws. If all else fails, bang in nails. <laughs> Extended coffee breaks. Crafty fags. Peeing in the sink. <laughs> what? <laughs> Only joking. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> you're not like other builders. <laughs> but in a lot of ways, you're not like a builder at all. <laughs> Cheers, mate. It's nice to hear, cos I, I did wonder if you're a bit knocked about the pace of the job. Knocked? Don't be silly, mate. Eh? It takes as long as it takes. You're an artist. I mean, how long did it take to do the Sistine Chapel? Don't know, it wasn't one of mine. <laughs> it's Michelangelo, eh? And it took him four years. Do you know why? Because he didn't have my wife breathing down his neck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Bending your ear, is she? Ah, oh, Dave, mate, she's never off me back. Oh, I feel your pain, mate. Oh, yeah, your wife give you grief. Oh, you could say that. She's dead. <laughs> right. Sorry about that. Not really. <laughs> Got you there. <laughs> Pants, I love it. So how come I haven't met your good lady yet? Well, she likes to keep away when the work's being done. <laughs> she gets a bit petty about not being able to cook or wash or having to breathe in asbestos. <laughs> Women. Yeah. So I suppose this is a bit of a nice holiday for you without her, eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you probably want me to take as long as possible. Oh, no, I really don't. <laughs> No, she'll kill me if it's not ready by the deadline. You know, this Friday. It is definitely doable by Friday, isn't it? Mate? Vimto? <laughs> so it'll be done by Friday, no worries. Oh, cheers, mate, that's brilliant. I wouldn't say that to just anyone, but as it's you, I'm gonna really get my nose to the grindstone and make sure we finish at the agreed time. That's really good of you. Cheers. So... Just to be absolutely clear, I can phone my wife now and tell her it's definitely going to be done by Friday. Absolutely. Great. But if we need a plan B... What? I'm just saying, if we need a plan B, which we won't, what we can do to get your missus off your back, right, is tell her we need a seven-gauge retractable pinion bracket. And do we need a seven-gauge retractable pinion bracket? Bloody hope not. There's no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> what am I like? I'm assuming that's rhetorical. 
But plan B won't be needed, right? Because it'll definitely be done by this Friday. No question. Absolutely 110% guaranteed. OK. But if it isn't... <laughs> if it isn't? Which it will be, absolutely for certain. Right. But if it isn't, then Monday at the absolute latest. Certainly no later than Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday? All being well. Right, there it is. Yep. Do us a favour, mate. <laughs> oh, hi, Anna. Hello, Lee. How are you? Just seeing how things are going. I think one of your earrings is heavier than the other. <laughs> I just thought I'd check in and let Lucy know what's happening with the kitchen. I feel it's my duty as her friend. Yeah. Well, you can't see it until it's finished. It's not a Picasso. It's starting to look like one. I see. Toby said things weren't quite going to plan. Everything's under control. Good. Well, you won't mind me taking a quick look, then. Dear God, it's like the trenches of World War I. <laughs> but with no poetry. And even less chance of it being finished by Christmas. How did the work get so far behind? Well, he's just waiting on an essential part. A seven-gauge retractable pinion bracket. There's no such thing. I know. Where is this builder, anyway? It's at lunch. It's 4 p.m. Yeah, but to be fair, he didn't start till midday. This is appalling, Lee. Look at the state of this place. He's worn dirty boots all over the rug. We haven't got a doormat. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Look, I know she's your friend, and you've only got her interests at heart, but don't tell Lucy. Please. On one condition. The moment this man gets back, you give him a firm dressing down. Get a written, detailed schedule of each job and when he's going to do it, and then stand over him and watch him while he does it. It's the only way it'll get done by Friday. Good idea. Good. Can you tell him that for me? <laughs> what? Well, you're so much better at this sort of thing than me. You won't listen to me. You and Lucy employed him. It's not my kitchen. You're right. So tell him it is your kitchen. <laughs> he's never met Lucy. Make me your. Ooh. All right. Hello, Dave, mate. This is my wife, Lucy. Oh, hello. He's told me a lot about you, love. Yeah, she's exactly as he described. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, back in a moment, just pop into the caf to use the uh, facilities. Uh, excuse me. After the lunch break you just took, you actually have the cheek to turn round and walk straight back out again. <laughs> If you've got to go, you've got to go, love. My name's not love. It's... <laughs> Lucy. Yes! <laughs> this is Lucy, which I've already said. Hello, Lucy. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. Dave what? Dave... Miss. <laughs> I meant what's your surname? Uh, Stockton. Right. Mr Stockton, let's start again, shall we? Let's act more like this is a professional environment where services are exchanged for money and less like we're betting on the outcome of a cockfight at the dog and duck. How do you mean? You're going back to work right now, Mr Stockton. And I'm drawing up an exact schedule that gives us a fighting chance of getting this done by Friday. Understand? Yep. Well, what are you waiting for? A starting pistol or Godo? Well, I'll crack on, yeah. You can smarten yourself up, for God's sake. Just because you're living on a building site doesn't mean you need to dress like a labourer. Yes, darling? <laughs> Not the lips. You're very good at this. I once made a builder cry so much he had to relay the damp course. <laughs> Anna? <laughs> no, Lucy. <laughs> Me and Anna split up years ago, so now I'm married to Lucy. <laughs> Dave, this is someone I haven't seen for years. Why don't you two go and have a coffee and catch up on all those lost years? I'll be right here, won't I, Mr Stockton? <laughs> See you later. Please don't be long! <laughs> How about this one? Yep, yeah, that looks great, I like it. OK. How about this one? Yeah, that's nice as well. <laughs> Why do you need a dress anyway? You've already got a dress. I thought I'd go crazy and own two dresses. 
I was getting jealous, what with you owning two pairs of underpants. <laughs> I just want one thing that makes me feel like a woman. Besides three kids and stretch marks. <laughs> can I help you? Just trying to work out whether I can get away without wearing a bra. Oh, well, you won't get much support. I'm used to that. Hey, Pluto, you look great! <laughs> Remember those days, dear. <laughs> yeah, all bouncy and full of life. <laughs> well, gravity makes fools of us all. I meant the girls, not... Well, it's what happens when you have children. How do you know I've got children? Oh, you've got children. <laughs> do you think those are real? No, definitely not. They're way too spherical. Real ones are more misshapen. You are talking about the pearls? <laughs> no, her breasts. Oh, right. No, definitely not. They're way too spherical. Real ones are more misshapen. <laughs> Would you ever consider it? A boob job? I don't think so. It's a bit tacky, isn't it? Not necessarily. Showing them off in a magazine that comes with a free sachet of Horlicks might be. <laughs> no. Boob jobs are for vain, insecure types with more money than sense. Actually, Lucy, I've had it done. <laughs> yeah, but that's different, you know, because... No, I've got nothing. <laughs> I just mean there are other procedures I'd have done first, like removing my foot from my mouth and putting it on my ankle. <laughs> so, um, when did you have it done? Just after Jack was born. You let a little lodger live inside you for nine months and they just trash the place. <laughs> if your body was a studio flat, they'd never get the deposit back. <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever done. It made me feel much better about myself. Have you tried the pencil test? The what? You know, you place a pencil under each breast. If they don't fall to the floor, you know things aren't quite as pert as they used to be. <laughs> Mind you, in this digital age, who uses a pencil anymore? <laughs> Well, I reckon I could get a couple of iPads under there now. <laughs> so I was saying all this stuff about boob jobs, and it turns out Anna's had one done. Had one done? Wouldn't that make her lopsided? <laughs> By the way, why have two pencils suddenly appeared next to the bathroom mirror? No idea. Well, it doesn't surprise me Anna's had a boob job. She's the type that would do that. Oh? What type is that? Oh, well, you know, vain and shallow. She'd probably have her legs cut off if she thought Gucci made designer ones. Look at this. Oh, it's all right for you to read these magazines, but not me. Look at this woman's breasts. I won't, and you can't make me. Is that posh actress you like from Casualty? She's had a boob job. Has she? Well, it's put me off knowing she's fake. I bet she's not even a real nurse. <laughs> celebrities, eh? Well, it's not just celebrities that get it done, you know. Well, you wouldn't consider it, would you? Oh, I see. Anna's had a boob job and now you want one. It's the Nespresso frother all over again. <laughs> Look, I'm only vaguely thinking about it. I'd probably never do it. There's no harm in us just having a little chat about it, is there? OK, let's chat. All right. What do you want to know? How much does it cost? <laughs> That's your first question. All right, well, what is a good question? Can you get one big one and one small one? It costs less than that ride-on lawnmower you seem to think we need so much. Yeah, but you can't sit on a new pair of boobs and scream vroom vroom. <laughs> you can if you ask nicely. All right, the most important question. Why? Oh, I don't know. I just feel like I'm getting older and things aren't where they used to be. You know, when I was in my 20s, I once went out in a bikini top and a man crashed into a viaduct. <laughs> now the only way my boobs would cause a car crash is if I got one caught under the brake pedal. I can't believe that you would talk to Anna about this before me. Oh, we were only chatting about it. We're women. We sometimes like to talk about things like boob jobs, OK? Blimey. Did Jermaine Greer jump in front of that horse for nothing? Why are you so dead against the idea? How would you feel if I suddenly announced I wanted a penis enlargement? I'd say you didn't need it. You paused. 
Look, can we talk about this later? I need to go to the supermarket. I'll come with you. Don't worry. Asda hasn't started doing boob jobs. I wish they would. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Why on earth would you want to get a boob job? Oh, for God's sake, I didn't say I wanted one. I just said I wanted to talk about it. You know, like a normal couple. We are a normal couple, and so are those. So leave them alone. <laughs> this has really got to you, hasn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, Lucy, but I just feel like someone's trying to take my favourite local pub and turn it into a shiny new Weatherspoons. My breasts are not like a pub. I don't know. They're both places I frequent a lot less since we had kids. <laughs> Am I missing something here? What part of our marriage vows that they're as much yours as mine? Having to hold. <laughs> Bloody Anna. This isn't because of Anna. Do you really think I'm that shallow? No, but she is. She's not that bad. Yes, she is. So self obsessed, so up herself. I'm telling you, those fake boobs are the only things stopping Anna disappearing up her own backside. <laughs> Hello. I don't suppose you heard that, did you? No, I didn't hear anything. Right. How could I have with my head shoved so far up my backside? <laughs> Bing bong. Social awkwardness in aisle nine. Can we have a metaphorical mop and bucket, please? <laughs> oh, look, they've got Marmite. I love Marmite. No, you don't, Toby. You hate it. Just like you hate confrontation. Well, I'm surprised to see you two in here. Obviously. Well, you know, we'd like to try out new places to argue in public. <laughs> Waitrose is closed for a refurb, so we're seeing how the other half lives. It's charming. Like being on safari. Why don't we go and grab a coffee, Lee? I'm feeling dangerously undercaffeinated and unanxious. Yes, very good idea. You two go to the man crash, and I'll see if I can find Pak Choi in this hellhole. Aisle two. But here they call it. I can't believe it's not cabbage. 